Seven Days to Die. The game that were meant to give us the zombie survival experience that we had always dreamed of. Open world, procedurally generated and primarily focusing on the sandbox experience. With or without your friends. But oh, that was a long time ago. And what we are stuck with in our cursed Steam libraries is nowhere near what we had in mind. It has been on early access since December 2013. Which, if compared to what we have, is ridiculous. First off, the graphical perspective. I want to be explicitly clear that I do not judge a game solely on its graphics. Graphics doesn't make a good game. But this? Come on, look at this. What is this? The game has been on early access for almost five years now and it's barely playable. You walk around like a moron gathering grass to make clothes for the barren stupid questline that ends when you have made the most basic shit there is and found that ugly trader guy. Any story or lore never appears. What do appear though is the terrible physics. Something that were meant to be groundbreaking but ended up being the worst jumping mechanics in human history. There is no story here, no purpose, and yes, I know, it's a sandbox experience, how stupid of me. So ignore the urge to experience any story or happenings of any kind and put all your efforts into building a home for yourself, from which you can explore the empty and useless world around you. Yeah, you kinda have to turn off the enemy spawning if you want to be able to actually build something. And when you have put your 20 hours into building that awesome camp and make an utterly bad decision to turn the spawning on again, then they raise your camp in minutes. Tell me, how fun is it to drag yourself through the process of gathering resources sources and recipes to be able to make those heavy reinforced Simmons blocks. Just to see a rotten zombie raise it in seconds with a bare rotten hands. A long time ago, when I still cared, I tried reaching out to the fun pimps and tried to get them to add an option to modify the damage NPCs does to blocks, because I thought it sucked ass and destroyed every chance of immersion when zombies destroyed cement or iron blocks in seconds with the bare hands, something that I do think only works against the terrifying feeling of a true zombie threat. But they never showed an interest in that. But hey, you can progress and get cool stuff, right? Yeah, look at this badass automatic rifle or this badass rocket launcher. Hear those badass sound effects? They must have some specialized team over at the Fun Pimps that can find this professional sound effects over at freesounds.org. I mean, why buy professional sound effects for a game that thousands of people have paid over 20 bucks a head for when you can find this great free sound effects for free? The game has some good intentions though, hiding here and there, like being able to grow your own food, thinking of which clothes to wear depending on which biome you're in, drinking and eating, and diseases of course. It can be quite exciting to desperately search for that medication that can save your ass when you catch that damn sickness again. But in the end, the game is just plain boring and fails at almost every turn. The AI is stupid. The environments are dead and there is nothing to find, which you will be aware of after an hour or two of meaningless exploration. The game runs as an old homemade jar of dirt. The log distance is a joke. One of the bad ones, that is. You could bring credit to the fact that they still seem to give updates, but that would be to praise the goat for taking a shit, because it's in the goat's own interest to take a shit. As this game still makes bucks for the developer, it is still in their interest to keep pretending the game has a future. More money for no effort. I have no idea why, but apparently I put over 90 hours into this horrible mess. If the game had been within its first year of early access, it would have been acceptable like this. But after five years of development, the devs put it on Humble Bundle and sales and so on, just to try to get a few more bucks. This should almost be considered a scam by now. 7 Days to Die gets a 4 out of 10 from me. You could get some hours of fun out of it before you realize what you actually threw your money at. There are much better games to throw your money at, so stay away from this crap. I wish you all some good gaming, until next time, all crazy ass bros and hoes out there. Don't forget to like and subscribe and push that cute little bell. See you next time.